After transitioning to a woman and then to a reptile, Tiamat found her true self in another species. I usually have a wake and bake. I haven't had my wake and bake yet. I was waiting for y'all to get here. Oh, how generous. So y'all can sit in here and watch me get high. Yes, please. I tell people that I don't want to be considered human. I was born into this world where I have to live among and coexist with the human race. Listen, little bitch, we don't fuck with small talk. We associate with people that are known to call cops. See that shine from my wrist to my neck, so I rock. Gucci flip flops with Louis Vuitton socks. Man, I'm always doing work, this shit is non stop. Fuck your bitch, blow inside the mouth just like a hot rock. Yeah, I've done a bit of dirt, but I've never got caught. If you wanna live like me, well, shit, that's gonna cost a lot. Hey, I don't fuck with trucks. Uh, hey, wow, long time no see. Uh, thanks for tuning in. It's great to see you again. Uh, but before we begin, I want to take a second and say thank you to eHacker or John for graciously and generously hosting me on his live stream. I had a whole lot of fun. It was my first team stream, if you will, the first time I ever teamed up with somebody else. Uh, so it was a little bit uh, different. I felt awkward, but it, but it got way better. As the stream went on, I became more comfortable, and you guys were great in your discussions, and just want to say thank you all for joining. I, I, I sincerely had a, a blast. Um, so anyway, now that that's out the way, I just want to let you know that we're going to take a 180 from the news that I've been reporting recently. Yeah, meaning we're not going to talk about Amber Heard. This is a one-off. This is a this is this is a this is a dark news story if I've ever heard of one. You know, before we get into the story, let me just ask you this: Have you ever? stripped down naked, painted yourself like a deer, put on antlers, and then ran into the woods in the middle of deer hunting season. Don't be shy. If, if, you, if you have, that, that's, I'm not judging. Okay, I'm not gonna waste any more time hoping that you raise your hand because you're not crazy, but there are crazy people in this world. And oh boy, do I love reporting on them. So today's news is about a self-identified Trans species, speciesists, a self identified trans species. The motherfucker thinks he's a deer. He's one of those deer kin. You know, have you, maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. It's kind of a taboo thing, but the people that dress up as like animals and, you know, go out in the wild and they, they think they're fucking animals. So, in my, in my spare time, I go out to my yard. In my spare time, I go out to my yard and I and I prance around and I and I eat grass and I, and I just munch it because it helps me feel like in tune with my dear self. Stephen believes he is an African leopard and likes to go by his leopard name, which is Shroud. He has strong feline traits and likes to run and hunt. Climbing and running and stuff is, it's very natural. It's very instinctual. When I was little, I had a lot of smaller memories, usually of laying on a tree branch or sitting on a rock and looking out across the savanna. I am a human being. I have these hands and this body, but internally, I am a leopard. I have the mannerisms and the behaviors, the thoughts and the memories of an African leopard. I don't consider myself human at all, other than my body. You know, it would be one thing if they were just having fun, you know, just playing fantasy, make-believe, but these people went like beyond the pale of just make-believe. They now believe the make-believe. Can you believe that? started when I was a child. I have always had a very strong connection to dragons um, and the mythical world, or like the mythical realm with mythical creatures. And when I was a young girl, I would always play with my 
make-believe friends or like my imaginary friends who I later discovered to be my dragon guardians. I have always had a very strong connection to these beings and when I was a little girl I would play with them like in my backyard or through the house or when I went to the pool or when I went to the park like I would always play with these beings and I would pretend I would be a dragon and that was just me as a child and that was just me exploring the magical wonder of this world and that's how my connection with the dragons really really started. As I kept meditating and as I kept going on, a vision came to me from my childhood when I would always pretend to be a dragon. I would always pretend to be an elemental dragon and I would like pretend to turn into different types of dragons. Like of course like to a certain extent it was my childhood imagination and I was just having fun playing with my friends but to another extent it was very real to me and I, I very much so resonated with it and I couldn't deny how much this connected with my heart and how much it connected with my soul. You know so if you want to be a trans Sexual, I'm fine with that. Do, do whatever you want, okay? As long as you're keeping it in the human species. But as soon as you jump out of that and into the uh, self-identified trans interdimensional species, whatever, that's where you'll lose me. This article is honestly too good to be true. It's way too good to be true. So I had to do some digging to see how accurate the article was. Now, here's the thing. Snopes says that it's a satire article, but I found 10 other sources that published this news. And I also looked up the doctor that, that, that they talk about, they did a video, the hospital's legit, and th this person is a real person, so maybe it's a hoax, maybe it's not. I kind of I, I kind of feel like it's true. I think it's true because nothing surprises me anymore. Like, there's nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and read this article. <laughs> Applejack, hit it. All right, you silly sons of bitches. We're over here at Newsbreak. They say a trans species man who self-identifies as a deer was accidentally... Was <laughs> was accidentally shot by a, by a, <laughs> I can't even read it without fucking laughing. Was accidentally shot by hunters. Man, you can't make this shit up. The South Carolina man who self-identifies as a deer, or to be more sensitive and politically correct, a uh, deer kin. I, I believe they go by deer kin. Or, or something like that. Anyway, the deer man has been transported to the hospital via helicopter after being shot by two hunters. <laughs> Now William Tenenbaum, 31, is lying in critical condition according to medical staff at Allendale County Hospital after being mistaken for a deer by two local hunters. According to the two hunters, Tenenbaum was dressed and painted in the colors of a deer and was wearing antlers, which made him unrecognizable to the two men. Uh, they say, it was the first time in my life that I had seen a deer stand up and walk on its two hind legs. <laughs> And that was when I went for a clear shot to the lungs. Harry Perkins, 72, told reporters, visibly shocked. <laughs> Fucking God bless you, Harry Perkins. This old ass dude was just like, I've never seen this before. I've never seen a deer walk on his two, <laughs> on his two fucking hind legs. But when life serves you a deer on a silver platter, you take the shot. And this man took the, sh <laughs> he took the fucking shot. And William Tenenbaum's mother, Michelle, said that her son has always been socially awkward. <laughs> and struggled with making friends, but he has a great passion for nature and the outdoors. She says when he was eight, he believed he was a... <laughs> when, he, when he was eight, he believed that he was a porcupine, and then at 12, a squirrel, and now he's a fucking deer. And now he's a deer. It could be worse. He could be a homosexual. And Tenenbaum's mother admitted that her son's life choices are eccentric and have necessitated some adaption by the family. <laughs> Hey, hey, um, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go fuck this porcupine in the backyard in a deer costume. No, mom, I'm good. I'm good. You have nothing to worry about. As soon as I'm done fucking the porcupine, I'm gonna maybe, you know, go molest some trees. So if you see me rubbing my balls up and down some tree bark, it's normal. It's natural. It's part of the deer kin way. We like to, you know, after sex, fuck a tree. It's weird, but it's just what we do. It's, you have to accept us. All right, so here's the complete quote. Um, Harry Perkins, the hunter, says, It was the first time in my life that I'd seen a deer stand up and walk on his two hind legs, and that's when I went for a clear shot to the lung. <laughs> oh. He told reporters, visibly shocked, so they shot at him, thinking that they were about to be blessed with a huge animal without knowing it was a trans species man. Guys, this is exactly why you do not walk around in deer costumes in the middle of fucking hunting season in the woods. You, this is why you don't go fuck animals in the woods in your little furry costumes, okay? This is not this is not normal. 
And this is the doctor that was on a Skype call talking about their injuries and like what happened. And he was also telling people that it's not a good idea to dress up as a fucking deer and go into the middle of the woods in the middle of hunting season. Dr. Alexander Potoshki at Allendale County Hospital reported that William Tenenbaum 31 is in fact in very bad condition after he was shot mistakenly by the hunters. William Tenenbaum's mother, Michelle, says that she is not happy about his son's condition and prays that God saves his life and makes him a better person. <laughs> I think he's way beyond saving, my dear. And in 2016, William Tenenbaum made local headlines for breaking and entering into a deer farm and allegedly sexually assaulting several animals, but was later released after the owner decided to drop the charges. <laughs> I wonder if his animals were like feeling a whole lot better, like maybe they were grumpy and they were being like lethargic and they weren't listening to him, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, this, this deer man goes in there and fucks them all and, you know, shows them a good time and now his animals are happy. That's the only reason I can imagine someone would drop charges because if, as far as I'm concerned, that's rape. That's like, look, you can rape a per you can rape a person and you can rape you can rape an animal. All right, and here's some information uh, kind of filling in the blanks uh, as to what these deer people really are. They say that they're people who identify as other than human and have been described and describe themselves as quote animal people, uh, lycanthropes, therianthropes, and most recently, uh, other kin. They say trans species explores the potentials of artistic practices, including the new stories about us and them, and experimenting with collaborations that transgress uh, the ontological isolation of anthro. I've never read that word before in my life. Anthroposurter. Fuck that word. No one's ever going to use that word ever. Uh, they say other kin uh, are a subculture who socially, spiritually identify as not entirely human, but some other kin uh, claim that their identity is genetic. Well, get the fuck out of here. You are not a deer. Gen you are ah! There's no way you're genetically a deer. You are all God. We, we are all living in fucking fantasy world, aren't we? We are living in La La Land, baby. Whatever you want, your dreams come true. Anyways, others believe that their identity derives from reincarnation, transspecies dysphoria of the soul, ancestry, or metaphor. So they believe that they were a deer in the past life. I mean, I could believe that I was a, you know, a, uh, a Siamese twin that was gay with myself. I could believe that. In my, in my past life, you know what, as a matter of fact, I was. In my past life, I, I, I was a Siamese twin, and um, I fell in love with myself, and we had a great relationship. So I, I identify now as a Siamese twin, even though there's only one of me. Yeah, it's actually, it's getting a little bit fuzzy now. Man, my memory's all blurry, you know, it's, it's hard to remember your past life, but I, I, I might not have been a Siamese twin. I, I, I think I was actually a dildo. Yeah, I think I was a big, I was a big black dildo. Maybe it was deep purple, but it was big. It was like one of those 13 inches. Yeah, it got, it got you know, passed around and finally got thrown in the trash and then it got melted down. Um, and uh, I, I was uh, reincarnated, yeah. All right, obviously I don't mean any of that. It's clear psycho babble talk, but I'm just trying to point out how ridiculous these people are. I don't understand how they have a driver's license. I don't understand how they graduated high school. I don't understand anything. I don't, I don't get any of this. I, actually, that's a lie. I understand it perfectly. It, it describes it right here. Um, dysphoria. That's it right there. Transspecies dysphoria. It's fucking dysphoria. Transspecies dysphoria. It's it's a mental dysphoria. You are unable to see yourself for who you truly are. You believe you're something else. I I'm trying to see your way of thinking. The the deer folk. I mean the other kin. I'm trying to see their perspective, but I just can't because none of it makes sense and it will never make sense because it's just a bunch of bullshit. What's a hocus pocus? Yeah, Tina, I know. I read the comment, okay? I read the comment. I know what he said. I don't I don't want to talk about it right now, okay? We're talking about this deer person. <sighs> okay, fine, fine. All right, so in the live stream that I just did with John E. Hacker, uh, there was a comment, and I don't remember who said it, but someone, someone said it in a very serious tone. Darth does too much drugs before his videos. I want to make it very clear that I don't do drugs. I am the motherfucking drug. Okay? I drink a little bit, not when I make videos, but like, I mean, I drink wine and I, I like a nice beer here and there and I smoke some weed. I don't do drugs. I'm, I'm not really doing cocaine. This is a show. I'm pretending. This, this, none of this is fucking real. Tina, 
you're the exception. Tina, Tina's real as fuck. Tina is more real than probably anybody I will meet in my entire life. But besides Tina, the rest of this is bullshit. It's all fake. The whole thing. It's all just a sham. It's all just a sham. Feel. Oh yeah, I'm on drugs. Please. And how the hell would I snort cocaine through the mask? You fucking. It's a. It doesn't. Please, please, please. I don't. I don't know. But I wanted to clear the air. I know I come off like I'm on drugs, but I have ADD. And I, I went to theater. I, I, I'm an actor, so... You know, fuck off. I, I never said I was a good actor. I said I am an actor. I studied acting. Could just eat, eat a bag of dicks, okay? I don't need you judging me, Tina. Look, I don't do drugs. This is me. Happy? Moving on. Uh, anyways, back to the point. I hope you all learned a valuable lesson from this video. I hope you all learned a lesson to not dress up like an idiot or a deer, a deer, kinfolk or whatever, and go into the woods and get shot. Because if you dress up like a fucking deer in the middle of hunting season and you go into the woods, you deserve two pumps to the chest. But if you have breast implants, that might save your life. Only because I know it could, it could actually save your life. I did a video on it. You should go watch it. It's like 10 months old. But yeah, I did a video on how a breast implant uh, sa saved this woman's life from a drive-by shooting. It just like, boop, got stuck right in there. So if you have breast implants, you're bulletproof. It's amazing. Yeah. And if you get two pumps to the chest and you don't have fake titties, then you better have some big old melons. Okay, now we're getting a little bit misogynistic. All right, let's... Mm. Nah, Darth is sexist. I'm not. I'm not. Anyways, all that aside, I wish the Royal Tenenbaum a speedy and swift recovery. Is the speedy and swift mean the same thing, sort of? Is speedy like, and swift is like, is one zig and one zags? Is there, are they the same? I don't, it's the little things that, that bother me, you know what I mean? The big things don't get to me, but it's like swifty and swifty. I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yes, just because he's an idiot that dresses up like a deer doesn't mean I hope he dies. I, I, I hope he makes it through. I, I really hope he pulls through. And um, I hope I, more than that, I hope he learned his lesson. You know, because if he pulls through and didn't learn his lesson, well, then fuck. He's doomed to repeat history. So let, let's, let's hope. <laughs> I wonder if he can still get a boner thinking about deers or, or, or if every time he wants to, you know, think about deers, he just thinks about getting shot and it just kills his boner. Maybe, maybe that was a wake-up call, sent from the heavens. He may be in the hospital, but that was God giving him a warning shot to not be a fucking idiot and to grow the fuck up. Only crazy people like Amber Heard and crackheads run around in deer costumes fucking trees. And that's about all I really have to say on the matter. Thank you so much for tuning in. I, I do appreciate the view, and I appreciate you. And I hope you can uh, you know appreciate us taking a little bit of a detour from the typical... Amber news to some silly, lighthearted, but well, it's tr it's kind of tr it's tragic, but it's I mean, it's like dark comedy at its best. That's the only way I can describe it. It's like it's a shitty situation, but it's fucking funny. So until next time, don't you dare forget to pull out. That is P O O L. Uh, and what? Yeah, unless you're trying to have babies, then then don't pull out. Whatever. That's up to you, but I recommend pulling out. But you know, if you want kids, well, anyway, uh, but, uh, 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 kid, uh, and as always, if you enjoyed my content, even a little tiny Asian penis, please consider like, sharing, and or subscribing. By the way, um, I don't mean like all Asians have tiny penises, I just mean like a lot of them. Yeah, a lot. Because I know, like, like, okay, like most black dudes have a bigger than usual, you know, like it's just... I'm not going down this road. Uh, anyways, my content is obviously weird as shit, so I don't blame you if you don't want to subscribe. That, that's totally fine. You don't have to. You could dislike the video. I'm all over the place. You know, send me some hate mail or, or send me some love letters. I love reading those. Anyway, I hope you found that new story as enjoyable and darkly hilarious as I did. If not, uh, well, then I'll, I guess I'll know because you disliked the video. But if you dislike the video, you'll get cancer and your mom will die. Your mom's already dead. Your dad will die. Your dad's already dead. Do you, you have a cousin or a, an uncle, a brother, sister? No family. Okay, if you hit the dislike button, you're gonna die. 
So please subscribe for the cringiest, most offensive, but most original content on YouTube, Darth News. Until next time, Daddy Darth loves you. If you're if you're a man, I don't love you in that way. If you're a woman, probably. Really, Tina, Applejack, you you're in the mood. You you guys never are down for a threesome. Okay, all right. Uh, well, yeah, all this talk has gotten kind of horny, so let's uh. This video is over, right? We're good? Okay, let's have sex. After you subscribe. And if you hit the bell, maybe I'll let you watch. You ain't gonna see these nipples, no sir. Oh yeah, well I'm gonna put that video in private. Alright, alright, we're done now. This The sweat is dripping into the eyes. It burns like a motherfucker, I'm out.